No Impact Man is about my little family's attempt to live as environmentally as possible. And the underlying question was, would it make us happier to live environmentally or less happy? Because if it makes us happier to live more environmentally, then it would make sense for everybody to live more environmentally. I wrote No Impact Man because uh, back in 2006, I was really depressed about the state of the world. And I was shaking my fingers at everybody else and, you know, the government should do something, big business should do something. And one day I came in and the air conditioners were on in my house and no one was home. And I just realized, wait a minute, if I'm running air conditioners when nobody's home, maybe I should do something. We ended up, because there was no air, air conditioning in our house, spending a lot more time in the park and particularly playing in the fountain. And now it turned out that we were ended up having more fun rather than less fun. The big habit that we need to change is this idea that a good life requires use of resources. The big question is, do good lives have to cost the earth? And at the moment, so much of what we do, so much of what we work for is basically more stuff. And our economy is based on throwaway stuff. So the question becomes, one, could we use less stuff? Two, could we make stuff that lasted longer? And can we find better ways of life that just doesn't require so many resources? For me, at age 46, I had to undo a lot of habits that, one, used a lot of planetary resources, and two, might not have made me as happy as I could have been. And the great thing for students is that they're in the place where they don't have to inherit the lives of their parents and grandparents, but can choose ways of life that may be more satisfying for them and may use fewer resources at the same time. Students have al always been the ones that change the world. It's, you know, if you look at the civil rights movement, if you look at the, the 60s, if you look at so much of what's happened um, in big cultural changes, it's often been with students. And I think it's, it's because students are in a place where what they have time and they talk together and they're idealistic and we all should be idealistic. We've launched this no non-profit project called the No Impact Project which will help people to experiment with their own ways of lives and help them to experiment with being involved in these kind of issues and, and lead them down a path if, that, if that's what they want to do. What I think about when about my first year of college is that I wish there was some sort of first year experience course because I, I needed, uh, there was nothing like that and you know I needed a lot of help. I, you know, I, I remember coming in in my dorm one time and I opened my door and my desk was on my bed and all the drawers had been turned upside down and whatever, we were all pr playing pranks on each other and kind of being immature but, and you couldn't admit that actually it was hard to live through that stuff, you know. So having Having support in negotiating the first year of college is, sounds tremendous to me. I feel really privileged that Bedford St. Martin chose to promote this book as a possible first year read, um, especially since their ambitions for it are so high. They say that they tell me that they read a lot of books, a whole slew of books, and this is the one that they thought had the potential to change the most students' lives, and I just feel humbled and complimented by that. My greatest hope for my book is that it causes a few people to ask themselves just more consciously about how they want to live. If we're wrecking the place and we're having a great party, in other words, if we're choosing to live this way and it's harming the planet, well, that might be just the cost of doing business. But if we're living in a way that's not really making us happy and we're wrecking the planet, then that's a terrible shame. So I just want us to evaluate and make sure that we're really doing what we want to do.